What's going on guys, I Danny to it and uh, I'm bringing you a Black Ops 2 gameplay 13-5 on standoff. I think this is my first Black Ops 2 commentary, uh, one of many because I've got a few gameplays I want to kind of upload to YouTube, uh, whether or not I'll actually upload them, who knows, because I'm quite on and off with YouTube. Um, also at one point in this game it made me laugh, um, there's a bouncing Betty that goes off my, like, as soon as I spawn I thought, I don't know, just something in there, I thought it was just odd. And watch me fail. Oh, I suck. But yeah, so I want to talk about why I do YouTube and like why it appealed to me. Like, I don't know. Because I started YouTube I think about two years ago. And I like started off with the Dazzle. Uh, actually, that's a lie. Um, my friend <laughs> brought around his Mac and we recorded with a Mac in front of my old TV. And my old TV was like the size of a Game Boy. <laughs> it was really funny because we just, it was just so awkward to record. And then um, we recorded for about three hours straight one night and we just tried making clips. And this was back in the day when I think Modern Warfare 2 was just released. And we spent three hours, I think we even stayed over at each other's houses just to record um, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 clips. And then we edited them to like YouTube non copyright music. like this. Like back in the day when YouTube used to recommend music that you could use, I'm not sure if YouTube still does that. But, um, that's what we did, and um, that was my first ever month. I'm actually going to try and find it and link it in the description probably. Um, but yeah, that's how I started. I started by being I watched a montage by I think it was a guy called Quick Joe. Um, when Modern Warfare 2, I think it was the pre-release of Modern Warfare 2. Like the, someone got it early, Quick Joe, and he made a montage. It wasn't even that good. Well, it. <laughs> It wasn't, it wasn't, like, it's not, nothing you'll see nowadays, like, crazy quad feeds and, like, trick shots and what have you. It was kind of standard quick scoping, like, really, really quick quick scoping, like, react from eyes and stuff. And then, I don't know, I kind of clicked with it, I thought that was really cool. And then I started YouTube. Uh, I started as a clan, I was, <laughs> me and my friend made, like, a clan, he says with air quotations. Um, I was known as ZZZ Animal ZZZ or something like that, and uh, I made. And then I saw Optic Predator. He made montages on YouTube's, and uh, this has been around. I think it was just after he joined Optic, and the, the style of editing he did. I know it's not like great editing, but it was really simple and clean, and that with the gameplay was like, wow, this, this is really cool, I want to do this. And so I spent about 50, 50 pounds on like a dazzle. Uh, and I started recording gameplay and then in my old channel, I'll leave my old channel description as well for those who are new to this channel or whatever. Uh, I'll link that and you can see some of my old school montages that probably don't have music on there because YouTube deleted it all. Uh, this is kind of going off the topic on why I'm doing YouTube. I do YouTube to kind of, this is going to sound really weird and cheesy, but to sort of vent, and my doorbell just rang, that was perfect timing, to sort of vent, uh, like, I don't know, when I edit, the music kind of makes me express emotion or something, and that sounds really, really gay, but how I meant it was music in general like play I'm from Skype. Um like in my life it's gonna oh I can't say about sounding gay, but music in my life is a big part of it. And for some reason I get a kick, you know, of simple editing things like syncing a shot with a beat of music and <laughs> I, I kinda get a rush from it. I I don't know. But um YouTube is kind of the place I go that if I'm feeling down or upset or anything like that and I edit a video I feel better and <laughs> it sounds so cheesy to say but I like I don't care about views or subscribers even though subscribers are nice um, whatever ratings they are all nice and they're always they always make me feel happy if I get like enough but I don't care if people hate a video I don't care if people like the video I make videos that I feel generally proud of, like, this whole thing, this whole YouTube thing, like, this video you're watching now, 
the gameplay itself, I was pretty proud of until I died like five times consecutively, or four times, I don't know how many times it was. <laughs> but um, like, I like I like making things I'm proud of. It gives me a sense of achievement. It makes me feel better as a person. And I don't know. And now the phone's starting to go off in the background. Great. <laughs> but um, so like montages I've done. You know, editing. I. I even though I'm good at it, I really enjoy editing. And once I make a video, like from Black Ops montage I posted recently, once I've made that, once I watched it over, I felt generally proud of it and I just wanted to put it out there so if people would like to watch the video can watch it and if people hate it, sure, let them hate it, but I don't care as long as I've felt good about making it and showing it to YouTube or whoever watches it and if people like it then that makes me feel even happier but YouTube as a whole is the place I go to to make myself feel better and to vent and I'm going to leave the commentary here thank you guys for watching bye